Not everyone has thousands of dollars to spend on a home espresso machine. So I went on a journey to try and find the cheapest home espresso setup that you possibly can, but it can't be rubbish coffee. I want it to be as close to the espresso that we serve in the cafe as possible. So could I do it on a budget? Let's check it out. So after a bit of research and searching on Marketplace, I found this little baby, $50. And I think it's gonna go perfectly. Now, if you've watched my other videos on what espresso machine to buy, 1,000 to 3,000, or the most expensive coffee machines, you'll know that I haven't gone anywhere close to that with this machine. And that's because I heard a couple of you guys say you don't have that sort of money to spend. And that's fair point. So what can you actually get that's close to cafe quality espresso for the cheapest possible price, the DeLonghi Stilosa, I think, might fit the bill. Now, the reason I chose DeLonghi Stilosa, as, I, as you know from my other videos, I don't really recommend appliance machines. However, if you're gonna go super cheap, then it doesn't really matter if you have to throw them out in a couple of years. But the main reason I chose Stilosa is because it has a stainless steel boiler in there and it should get up to 15 bars of pressure, which is enough to compete with the likes of the Senesso. So I'm really hoping that it does come through. Other than that, it's a pretty standard little appliance, but we'll open it up and check out what's inside, show you what we've got to work with. So here it is in all its glory. Nothing super fancy about it, but it's a tight little unit, very small footprint. The tamper is the first thing that I notice is terrible. Like this is a terrible tamper, but that's fine. We're gonna see if we can upgrade that. The porter filter is not bad. It comes with pressurized baskets, a single and a double. I'm gonna only use the double. The porter filter is only 54 mil wide. That's the one of the problems that with these little appliance machines is that the basket isn't a standard size basket. So when you go to buy accessories down the track, like a better tamper, make sure you look for a 54 mil and not a 58 mil, which is the standard. For the older machines, this model here has the newer steam wand. So it's actually a lot better. It's a nice little fine steam wand there. The older ones have this extra frother thing called a Panarello on it. And that can be a little bit problematic. If you've got one of those machines, I recommend take it off and then use the little steamer underneath because it's a lot finer. The other nifty little thing I like about this is the drip tray. So if you have um, a taller glass, you can just quickly pop that out, pop it in there, gives you a little bit more height for your taller glasses. All right, I'm gonna roll it as it is. We wanna make sure we can get this as close to we need, but I gotta get an extra thing. And what is that? It's a grinder. All right, the Breville Dose Control. Very similar to the Breville Smart Grinder Pro. The only difference is all the internals are the same, but it doesn't have the display on the front. So that's really the only difference between the two machines. Essentially, they're same grinder and they do work really well. If you see my other videos on what grinders to start with, the Breville Smart Grinder Pro is perfect entry level grinder for what you get for the price. I picked up this little baby for 40 bucks off of Marketplace as well. Okay, so I'm only up to $90. $40 for my grinder second hand, $50 for the machine second hand. Now I wanna try it as is, see how close I can get it to the Senesso. I'm not expecting a lot, but if it's anywhere in the same ballpark, that'd be good. Always remember to use high quality beans. Don't forget that there's whole journey starts with your beans. If you use bad beans, doesn't matter what machine you use, it's gonna be horrible. If you start with really high quality beans, like from those at coffeebeansdelivered.com.au, where you can buy some of these gorgeous tasting beans, you're always gonna get a better result no matter what equipment you have. And obviously, if you like these sort of videos, please give me a like and a subscribe or put a comment in the section below and ask me any question about these or tell me something that I don't know. Maybe I missed something. Maybe I can find a cheaper machine, but let me know, pop that in there. But now let's get into the results. All right, let's give it a try. Slightly under extracted, however, really good 
quality in terms of what I was expecting out of it. Now I'm gonna add some milk. Let's see how easy it is to steam. That's not bad. The steam did take a long time. It was about three minutes to go and it was very, very light, but it made silky milk enough to pour a little tiny heart out of it. That's pretty good. It's a little bit light. I know Il Caramello is a lighter, more softer, very, very smooth coffee. This was a little bit under extracted. I can taste it just a little bit too bright, too acidic, a little bit like unripe apricot. So it's not, not a perfect coffee. However, that's just using what we got. Now I want to pimp it out. So let's see what I got for my pimp out. I might have to call this section Pimp My Ride. Cause I went all out on the pimping. I spent $135 all up and got all of this equipment. Now you don't have to go as far as I did. I think definitely upgrade your tamper, number one thing. Upgrade these tampers, so good. Nice stainless steel, heavy, weighted, so much better than the plastic. Then get yourself a naked porta filter. Doesn't even have to be a naked porta filter. Can just be a nice timber handle, but allows you to then put in different baskets. So I've got a nice Posado basket, which is a high precision basket, much more precise than your regular basket. So you'll get a much more even extraction. Then really think this is super important is the coffee catcher. 15 bucks, it's just so good because what it does is it stops all of that mess from your grinder getting everywhere and then it catches it all in there. Allows you to take your WDT tool, your whisk distribution tool, and then mix in whisk all your coffee grinds without spilling any. Super important, I reckon, if you're gonna buy anything, buy your portafilter, tamper, and these two, because that will definitely level up. Now, if you wanna go scales and start weighing in and weighing out, definitely recommended. However, you can always work up to that. I'm gonna, now that I've got everything really nicely set up, I'm gonna max out my extraction and really see if I can get it as close to a Senesso espresso shot as I can. All right, so let's make a coffee on both these machines and compare it. We're gonna be using Il Caramello today, which is a beautiful, caramely, malty, apricotty sort of coffee, very high quality. It will last even on this machine if it stuffs it up. If you want to buy some, you can jump on coffeebeansdelivered.com.au and grab yourself some wherever you are in the world. If you don't, just give us a like, give us a subscribe, leave a comment in the section below. Let us know what you think of these videos and if you want to keep seeing them, I'd love to keep making them. Let's get into it. Okay, so I've got two here. I know which one is which anyway, but I just want to compare them side by side to see what the level of difference is. Obviously, I'm not expecting the DeLonghi to be able to outperform the Senesso. They're hugely different. One's a commercial coffee machine as well. But if there's some similarities, I just want to be able to take a bit of notes on how different it is and if there's any comparison at all. Obviously, very nice Senesso coffee there. Yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot weaker. Um, I think the basket size is, we use 22 and a half grams in the cafe and this is only an 18 gram basket. So I probably could have dosed this a little bit higher and I would have gotten a more even extraction in comparison, but this is still really tasty, really, really caramely, still really nice. I would be quite happy if you served that. You're never going to outwit a barista. You know, obviously, Holly is a very astute barista. She knows her coffees. I'm never gonna really outwit her, but I think if you were a person coming over to your home and having a coffee, that would be a lovely coffee to have. And I wouldn't be unhappy if I received that at anyone's house. Yeah, that's good. Here we go. 
Give me your thoughts on those. Tell me which one you like a little bit better. Or which one you think is the Senesa? Vika. So which one do you think is the Senesa? Which one do you think is the Delange? <laughs> well, you were right. <laughs> but you give it a thumbs up or no? Still good. All right, well, there you go. I think I've done it. I think I have mastered it for you. The cheapest espresso to possibly get the best espresso at home. I've done it for you guys. All you home barries out there. Barries, I don't know why I call you barries. All you home baristas. Maybe I should call you barries. All you barries out there. I've done it for you guys that don't want to spend a lot of money or just can't afford it. There's the solution for you. As always, if you like these videos, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, give me a subscribe, leave a comment in the section below. I'm Ryan, your coffee coach, and as always, enjoy your brew.